Hello everyone, today I want to show you how we can detect sure bets. What are sure bets in bettings? Yeah, because I'm discussing sport bettings. So you can have a look at the sure bet calculator, which I created in JavaScript. I will talk more about it soon, right? But I first I want to give you some basic information. What is sure bet? Uh, is it even possible? So, probably those who like sport, like sport bettings, you know this website, I often visit this website, Flesco, and you can see something like odds. So, odds tell you how much you can win, what are the probabilities or chances of each team to win. So, let's uh, see match between Bologna and AS Roma. Uh, rate for Rom Bologna to win is 265 for uh, Roma is 305. Is it sure bet, do you think? Yes, on the first glance we can realize that this is a sure bet because you can see two of these odds are bigger than two. So you, if, if you see that if you put one dollar on this, you will get 260. If you put one dollar on that, you will get three. So you spend two altogether and it will be always more than you spent. That's why you can estimate using common sense that this is sure bet. But if you look at this kind of difficult events, 1.17 and 19, it's hard to determine. Mm. So let's uh, figure it out how we calculate it. Yeah, I want to give you my instruction because before I wrote the program, before I wrote this program, um, I wrote everything on the piece of paper and I did a lot of calculation. But calculation of the paper are usually much easier than writing programs, so it took me more time to uh, prepare this Schubert calculator. Okay, so let's check it out. Um, so Bologna is 265, uh, Roma is 305. And here I, I just want to determine how much I want to put. So I want to invest, let's say I want to invest $10. And this Schubert calculator will distribute this 10. It will tell you how much should you put on Bologna, how much you should put on AS Roma to generate the maximum profit from this $10. Yes, it confirms. That's the, pro that's the way the program works. It tells you that, yes, this is sure, but the profit you can uh, generate is 4.18, right? If I increase stake to 100, I can make profit of $41. And it tells me that I should bet 46 for Roma, 53 for smaller rate, 53 is for Bologna. Okay, so as you can see, everything is working. And, uh, but uh, with sure bet is often more difficult because usually on this kind of betting website, yeah, this is the website I belong to. On this kind of website, you have to pay tax. Tax is usually 12%. So look, what our profit was 41. After tax, our profit is only $24. So because of tax, mm, sure bets are much more difficult to achieve. But how do I do this calculation? Because uh, this is the computer doing it automatically around this program. But I want to show you how to calculate it using just a calculator. Even if you don't have a, even you do, if you don't have a program, you can do it this way. So let's write the first odd was 2.65. The second odd is 3.05. So, first of all, how do we know if it's a sure bet? If you have a question, is it a sure bet or not? How can we know? So, the, the, there is a formula. I was playing with numbers and I figured out there is a ratio. You need to divide 1 by first odd, right? 1 divided by first odd and plus 1 divided by second odd. So what will it be? 1 over 265 plus, okay, 1 over 265 plus 1 over 305. So what will be the, the, the result of this calculation? Let's calculate here. Okay, 1 divided by 265 equals... 0.377, 0 
377 plus how much will it be if we divide 1 divided by <clears throat> 305 it's 0 0.32 0 0.32 so how much is it if we add it up it will be something like 0 0.69 and it meets the requirement of the surebet. So surebet is only met if this result, result of 1 over first odd plus 1 over second odd is smaller than 1, right? If it's greater than 1, if it's greater than 1, I don't like this. Yeah. <laughs> if you see this sign, it's greater then it is not a sure bet right so sure bet must be the result result must be less than one of this formula one over first odd plus one over second odd not off okay because these are the odds so one over 2.65 plus one over 3.05 should be less than one okay and tax, tax is 0 0.12, or if tax is, tax is 0 0.18, then you have to add result plus, plus tax, for example, 0 0.12, still have to, because 0 0.12 means 12%, it still has to be less than one. Then all the requirements are met and you have your sure bet. Okay, but bookmarkers know about it. Bookmarkers know about it, and okay, if you go to um, the website where you can bet online, you see the Leicester versus Liverpool. We have 540, 57. Is it a sure bet? Okay, so 1.57, 540. Let's put $100 on it. Yes, this is a sure, sure bet, we can make a profit. So is it that easy? Can we win money? Uh, I'd love to, but as you can see, this is a three-way event. There is a possibility of draw. So, if you put only uh, to win or lose, then you can win money if they win or lose. But if there is a draw, you will lose everything. So, that's why there is a risk. But that's why they give this possibility. And they even give you opportunity. Instead of betting separately, you can just choose this option. One or two. One or two and you, the rate is very small, 1.22. But I think that if you do it yourself instead of 1.2, the rate will be a little bit more attractive than choosing this one or two option. So if you calculate it with sure, but you, you can have more chances, you can win 21, but we, we counted it without tax. So look, guys, if I add usual tax, the profit is only $7 or whatever currency you choose, 7 yen, 7 yuan, 7 zloty, 7 pounds. So it's not impressive. You would have to bet maybe $1,000 to win just $70. But that would be perfect if there was no risk associated. But there is still risk associated in this event because they can draw. And they know about it. That's why the odds are comfortable for you. They create this illusion of sure bet. But this is not a sure bet because it is a three way event. If you go to basketball, uh, basketball, the, the, this is usually two way events. Of course, it's possible to. to for basketball match to end with the result of draw, but it hardly ever happens, so it's un very unlikely. So if you check the odds for basketball, 180 versus 2.4, for example, Bonn, Hapol, Jerusalem, 1.50, sorry, 1.50 uh, versus 2.49. Uh, let me check. Let's go to my 150, 249. First, let's calculate it without tax. No tax. Let's bet $100. And as you can see, this is no, it is not a sure bet. So even without tax, it generates loss. You will you have minus 6.39, so you will lose $6 if you try to treat it as a sure bet. But if you add a tax, you will lose $17. So it's totally... Mm, not profitable for you 
to bet for basketball too even these are not sure but so bookmakers are smart they know how to protect themselves that's why you will find this two two way events will be always against sure bets to protect the interest of the company so maybe if you you could increase these chances by comparing different uh, betting companies so if you see odds here you may see that odds from different companies are slightly different so you can choose the highest this versus the highest that so for example 155 times 265 so we could bet in two different companies for example you could bet in STS and that one you could bet in live bet let's see if it's gonna work 155 times 255 265 155 times 265 first without tax see even if you put in different companies you're still losing money therefore it's almost impossible to find sure bets so this is more for fun what we're doing here but if you think that you would make the money this way it's it can be difficult yeah, I heard in the past, maybe 20 years ago, there were many cases that some group of mathematicians made a lot of money on sure bets, but it's no longer easy. You know, with the development of strategies, people know how to protect themselves. So, but I'm just, just showing you um, uh, for fun or for some educational purposes, but also if, if, some, if you notice that there is opportunity, then go for it, but it doesn't often happen maybe if somebody makes a mistake another thing i want to show you how i calculate because look how i calculate how to distribute okay let's increase it to three how do i calculate that i should put 46 for three and 53 for 265 we can create a simple equations okay so first we determine is it a sure bet or not and later we need to figure it out how to calculate how to distribute our money to achieve the most efficient result the, to make profit the same profit so it's the purpose is to make the same profit betting on this road and, and that one that it should generate the same profit so it's also very simple so in that case we need to divide divide now step number one divide bigger odd by smaller odd right so how will we do it so we need to 3.05 divide by 265 okay what we what we're gonna get mm. let me show you the result two points uh, not two, uh, three point zero five divided by 2.65 so result is Mm, 115 1.15 so it's a very small margin 1.15 <clears throat> okay what's next what else do we have to do so now we know that this odd is 15 percent bigger than the smaller odd because we have 0 0.15 here that's slightly bigger this is the ratio how much is bigger so we will create equation with this because what does it mean that it means that if we Put because this is x 1.15 x plus x equals our stake right this is our equation uh, which means that 2.15 x after adding equals our stake so to solve this equation we just need to divide it by two point stake divided by 2.15 so in here it's up to you how much you choose if you choose 10 if you choose ten dollars then you need to divide 10 by 2.15 and you will receive value of x so 10 divided by 2.15 equals 465 465 we've got our first smaller smaller odd this is i mean not smaller odd this first stake uh, stake bet for big uh, bigger odd right bigger odd because the number is smaller and now we can minus stake minus 
for 65. So 10 minus 4, 65 equals 535. And we have our second stake. That's how I know how to calculate it, by creating the simple equation. Okay, so in order to generate the same profit, we can distribute uh, $10 like this. 465 goes for 3, 535 goes for 265. Let's confirm it. 265, 305, 305. Yes, I mean, here you have 10, exactly, you see, 431, 569. Mm -hmm. You know, this small differences like here may be the result of rounding the numbers because I'm rounding them, but they are not, they have decimal, much more decimal spaces than just that. But the general is very similar, 535, 465. Okay and the, the profit is what we can make. So that's how we calculate how much we should bet. Uh, create equation. Why do you think it's 2.15? Because one odd is bigger. We bet for one uh, odd extra and another one is smaller. That's why together they, they consist, they com, not consist, they constitute this value. Okay, so later when I wrote a computer program, if you like JavaScript, if you like programming, you can have a look at my code, you can create the same, you can slowly post the video and have a look how I did it, just write the code and you will have your SureBet calculator. So this is HTML, it's easier created just input forms to enter data, later I created variables to get values of all this, for example, tax, odds and stake. Then I need to do some math calculations. You can have a look at calculations, just like what I did for result. This one was to confirm, confirm if it's sure bet or not. One divided over odd one plus one over odd two plus tax uh, has to be smaller than one. If it's bigger than one, then it's not a sure bet. And then we have variable is sure bet. So if it's sure bet is true, if it's not, it's false. Mm, you can just copy and paste. Yeah, it's basically what I was doing. There was a little bit of complication with tax because you know if tax equals zero, so you cannot multiply by zero because if you multiply by zero, you will receive zero. So I had to create conditional statements. So the amount we win, uh, it depends. If tax is zero, we don't multiply tax. We just ignore tax. But if tax is greater than zero, we need to multiply uh, tax by the total sum and we will know how much we win. We will deduct the amount of tax from the total winning. So that's why we need to create this conditional statement. Okay, so you can pause the video, take a look at this code. We have function calculate. We have two buttons. One is to clear input, one is to generate function. Okay, and hope you have fun. Today I spent about two or three hours on writing this program. So hope someone can make use of it okay and i wish you good luck in sports betting it's not easy to win but it sometimes happen okay thanks for your attention hope to see you again in another series bye for now